Salve Maria. Welcome back to our fifth day of the meditations on Our Lady of Fatima, of our Novena. And we begin with a small idea of what happened on that August 13th. The day of the fourth apparition was to take place on that day, and the three seers could not go to the Covadaria. They'd been kidnapped and then detained by the administrator, who was a type of a mayor, of Oreng for three days. And he tried in vain to force them to reveal a secret that had been entrusted to them by the Blessed Virgin Mary with pressures, all types of pressures, threats. So let's meditate on this period of suffering with our opening prayer, asking that the Blessed Virgin Mary obtain for each and every one of us many, many graces. By the sign of the cross, free us from our enemies, O Lord, our God. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Our Lady of Fatima, Mother of God and our Mother, intercede and pray for us with thy Son, that we may be worthy to obtain the grace we ask of thee. Most sacred heart of Jesus, graciously hear the supplications of Mary, full of grace, so that through her intercession we may obtain the requested favor. If it is for thy greater honor and glory and the good of our souls, amen. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread and forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou amongst women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and ever shall be, world without end. Amen. Our Lady of Fatima, pray for us. The children were arrested and even threatened with death if they didn't reveal the secret that had been entrusted to them. So in an intimidating tone, the administrator of Oreng, he ordered Jacinta to be taken to the cauldron of boiling oil since she wouldn't reveal a secret. But her heroic attitude would have been no different if she had been a martyr of the early days. Because they thought that being the youngest, that she wouldn't resist the fear and would tell them and show that it was all a farce. But the little girl followed the one who called her without saying even a word. Then they took Francisco by the arm and in tears, but resolute and firm, he didn't tell the secret either. Then finally, it was Lucia's turn. Even though she had the idea that her cousins were probably dead and she would be the next one, she also didn't reveal the secret. And with a wonderful heroism, she also withstood this cruel persecution of the poor little children. Now, on that August 13th in the Covaderia, a crowd there was around five, 6,000 people was awaiting the little seers at the hour in which Our Lady normally appeared. From 11 o'clock on, the people prayed and they sang, but where were the children? No one knew. Around noon, while they were praying the rosary, someone came from Fatima with the news that the little shepherds had been kidnapped. And this aroused tremendous indignation among everyone. At that moment, a faint murmuring sound could suddenly be heard, followed by a rumble of thunder and a flash of lightning, as on the other occasions. And then they saw a small white cloud, light and transparent, which came to rest gently over the oak tree. 
for a few moments. Shortly after it rose and faded away into the blue sky, leaving behind colorful hues that tinted everything, Our Lady had certainly come, but not finding the little ones, she withdrew, but expressing her presence to the crowd through these signs. Now, when the administrator of Oren had confirmed to everyone that he had kidnapped the little shepherds, there were many, many people who wanted to go as a group to his house, as well as also to the house of the rector of Fatima, who they thought was accomplice to all these things. Now, it's hard to believe such wickedness that happened in this case with this local civil authority who abused his power by mistreating these innocent children. But such a thing that's so arbitrary can only be explained when you see that he was anti-clerical, he was hostile to the church, which was quite frequent in those times. But has this type of animosity towards the church ceased in our days? Who could say something like that? Maybe it's even worse nowadays than it was back in those times. But going back to our story, we can imagine with what devotion and readiness the seers offered all of their sufferings and reparation to Our Lady for the sins of mankind and the conversion of sinners, even those who were in this situation, uh, attacking them, making life so difficult for them. Now, let's take a, take a look at Sister Lucia's account of Our Lady's fourth apparition. While minding the sheep at a place called Valinos, along with Francisco and his brother John, we felt something supernatural approaching and enveloping us. Suspecting that Our Lady would appear and lamenting the fact that Jacinta should miss seeing her, we asked her brother John to go and call her. Meanwhile, Francisco and I saw the flash of light, which we called lightning, and shortly after Jacinta arrived, we saw Our Lady above a home oak tree. What do you want of me? I want you to continue to go to the Cova d'Aria to the on the 13th of each month and to continue to pray the rosary every day. On the last month, I will perform a miracle so that all may believe. What do you want done with the money that people leave at Covaderia? Have two beers made. You are to carry one with Jacinta and two other girls dressed in white and let Francisco carry the other with three other boys. The money from the beers is for the Feast of Our Lady of the Rosary, and what remains should be contributed to a chapel that shall be built. Lucia asked for the cure of some sick people, and Our Lady said that some would be cured during the year. Then, looking very sad, Our Lady added, Pray, pray, pray much, and make sacrifices for sinners, for many souls go to hell, because no one makes sacrifices and prays for them. Normally, people plucked branches from the home oak upon which Our Lady appeared in the Covaderia, and the seers didn't approve of this custom. However, this time, they decided to take some branches for themselves. Now, to the surprise of all, the home oak had a scent that was unlike any other that they knew. As can easily be concluded, the Virgin Mary, in her inexpressible maternal kindness, she wanted to come to the aid of those very beloved children to comfort them after the terrible suffering that they had undergone. Blessed are they who mourn, for they shall be comforted. Now, trusting in our Divine Mother's goodness, who always comforts us, let us also pray. O Virgin of Fatima, Messenger of love and peace, white is thy purity, perpetual is thy virginity. As children who love thee, we wish to repair the offenses done to thy immaculate heart, and we resolve to seek to live according to the teachings of thy divine Son, Jesus. O Mother of God and our Mother, we are confident in thy kind intercession 
certain of the fulfillment of the promise made to the three shepherd children. In the end, my Immaculate Heart will triumph. Amen. With God's grace, we'll see you again tomorrow. And may the blessing of Almighty God, the Father, and the Son, and the Holy Spirit come upon all of you and remain with you always. Salve Maria. Amen.